Hi, this is Gleb Bachmutter, and today I want to show you something special. Recently, I accidentally discovered something I did not know. An anchor link, like this one right here, can have another attribute called ping. For example, this anchor attribute is called ping track, which means when user clicks on it, yes, it will go to the act ref but also it will send a POST request to this URL. I have it running right here on this page. So I'm about to click this link. Before I click, I'm gonna open the DevTools and go to the Network tab. Let's see the requests that happen when we go to that anchor link. Notice we're loading the second page, but also the page is making a call to this URL, the one we gave under the ping attribute. If you click on the details, you can find that it went to that URL and that it sent a couple of special headers, ping from and ping to. Let's see how we can confirm that this is working using a Cypress test. I have my examples right here. I already started a new ping spec. It has finished right here. Right now it just visits the page. Let's look at this. Well, we can find the anchor link and then we can click on it. Now we have a couple of anchor links right here. So just for simplicity, I'll say sci get anchor with none empty present at the ping, and then I'll click on it. The test three runs, notice we're going to the second page. The first thing I want to do is confirm we're actually going to the second page with the link work. So I'll say location, and here I'll say um, path name I believe, should equal page to HTML. Okay, we are on the second page, but also we want to confirm that that anchor link does send POST request. Right now we probably will see it under the network tab if we run the test. It is present. To confirm that this click really sends a network call, we'll need to use site intercept. Method is POST and the path name is track. And let's give it an alias ping. Now we will intercept all these requests and right now it's a spy. We really want to convert it to a stop so that it doesn't really go to a server. So we'll just respond with empty object. Wait for the ping alias and then we'll get its request headers, which is an object. We can confirm that this object has the headers. If we're interested, notice they're all lowercase. So we want to confirm that these two headers are present. So we'll say should deep equal or deep include and we'll give these values and make it valid JavaScript. We'll add quotes and we'll add a comma and then we run 